The wind has been unusually calm here in Cape Verde this year, so I decided to check my sails starting with the main. My lazy bag is falling apart. It seems I had it restitched not too long ago. I wanted to hoist the mainsail to see if it would. It's been a long time since it was up and we replaced the pulley on top of the mast. All the reefing lines and halyards are stiff with salt and dust. As well as the blockers. But let's hoist and see. Darn, a traveler is stuck. But my solution for that is simple. Clear white vinegar. It's super cheap and effective. Well, that's a good thing. We had the traveler custom made for Gallopin. Originally, it did not function with ropes and pulleys from the cockpit. But now it does, and it's much more practical. The winch is good, and the sail is fully hoisted. I like to tie all the ends of my lines with figure eight knots so they don't slip away by accident. Well, the mainsail check went pretty well, except for the lazy back that's falling apart and ripping. And the sail that's definitely old, it must be about 15 years old, but you know, it's still holding out for me and I just don't have the budget for a new sail right now. But the main thing was is that all the uh, reefs, the uh, halyards were functioning and loose and I was able to hoist it and bring it down, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to check the furler on the Genoa. Yesterday I checked my furler and it was completely blocked, frozen. I took about a liter of white vinegar, just poured it on it and kind of loosened it up and all of a sudden, boom, it loosened up. It's all crystals, dirt gets in there and uh, hasn't been moved, you know, in about eight months, six months or whatever. So. Now it's all ready, that and the mainsail. I then tested my windlass to make sure the anchor will go up and down. The electronic controller needs a bit of maintenance. So a little spray of special contact juice too. Avoid problems in the future. And now a patch up job on a spring called wire casing with some electrical tape. And we should be all good. I think that will hold, until it doesn't, or I get a new spring called cable. Much better. It was also really nice to feel comfortable walking along the deck, keeping my balance. This is all part of my own man slow hip surgery rehab. Well, I had one hell of a weekend, uh, Valentine's Day weekend, here in Cape Verde with the Cape Verdean friends. Wow. And can they party? They party like nowhere else in the world. And I've been around a lot of places and done a lot of partying, but this is just phenomenal. My friend Wendy planned everything. She says, oh, I want to come over with my friend Bruna and two other girlfriends of mine. <laughs> and they have kids. I'm like, uh, oh, okay, bring the kids. <laughs> On Friday, I went to buy chicken and food, some drinks, etc., etc. 
I'm trying to call Wendy and she's not answering her phone. She's not answering her phone all day. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I'm starting to get bummed out a little bit. So I call her friend Bruna and I said, what's up with Wendy? She goes, oh, I'm going to go see her. She went to see her. She says, oh, she has a toothache. She has a bad toothache. She doesn't want to come. She doesn't feel good. And Wendy said, I could come with my two friends and stuff. And if that's okay. I'm like, yeah, I got all this chicken. We got to eat it. It's not the same, but okay, you can come. Wendy had told me that her friends or girlfriends are really pretty and cute and stuff and I'll like them. So I went to get them, I'm like, oh my god, of course, they're just gorgeous girls. And I'm like, ooh, bring them back to the boat. They start making the food and uh, I sent a message to Wendy and I knew this was going to work. I said, hey man, you're right, your girlfriends are cute. Boy, man, a few seconds later she calls me up, I want to come. <laughs> I knew it would work. Not too long after, we ate. Girls poured up shots for each other, like tsh, tsh, turn on the music, and they were dancing, man. Another girlfriend of our calls and she says, oh, can we come over? I'm like, oh, I don't know, let me ask the girls. So I passed the phone over to Wendy and she's like, yeah, okay, Fanny's coming. So there was four more people that came in. It was just crazy. They went swimming and a party went on all day Saturday to Boots. So finally, me and Saturday, late, early in the evening, I just had to go to sleep, you know? I hadn't slept for 24 hours. Yeah, then finally everything kind of calmed down, except two of the girls, two kids, plus Wendy's son, Clay, there. Everybody went to sleep. Sunday morning, I get up, I'm like hungry. I take everybody out for uh, for breakfast. We're having to chew up. So here we are having breakfast. After a 24 hour little party with the gang, met Andrew here from Canada. <laughs> he was on the party, he was with Peter partying on his boat. Except for Wendy, Wendy's just like, ow. Well, that was a nice breakfast after a long night. The chupa's good hangover food. Now, bringing the family back to the boat so they can get their stuff and I can take them home. Or maybe not. Well, finally, came back like oh we want spaghetti with tuna I'm like yeah tuna you like it isn't it better with meat they're like yeah I'm like okay well, let's get some meat so we put it with ground beef and everything made a nice meal and then finally at the end of the day on Sunday like okay we're waiting for Wendy to wake up I'm like no girls leave her alone she's recuperating I'll wake her up later she can just crash out my uh, in my cabin and that's it The girls had used up all my water, but luckily my friend had borrowed my jerry cans and returned them full. So I showed Claydear here how to siphon, and he caught on real quick. Oh yeah, and then Monday, there was a gaggle of girls here again. Lily, Mauricia, and Layla, they came over from Peter's boat, and they're like, Alex, have a drink. It's like, oof, we're starting again. Arriba, abajo, al centro, un Parabéns, minha amiga. Marícia. Obrigado. Não me faz nada. Primeiro grupo do dia está forte. É bom grupo. Welcome to Cape Verde. You better have some stamina if you want to come and hang out here and party. Because, woo! 
but oh what a weekend it was fantastic next we're gonna check out Wendy's new little apartment that she got herself pretty modest 50 bucks a month I just went and met her and bought her some paint and her and a couple dudes are gonna paint everything uh, I'm gonna pay them 1,000 escudos which is 10 bucks each for a uh, full day's work so I'm really happy for Wendy she got a place she seems all happy and pleased and she wants to start a little little commerce a little business there selling some uh, food that she makes and some grogs some beers and stuff like that so I'm really I'm really happy for her that she's trying to do something for build a little future for herself because it's, it's hard here for people so you know if I could help one person I'm really happy kinda help change her life a little bit it makes me super super pleased you know I can't help everybody but I helped Paige already a bit and now if I can help Wendy um, maybe I'm a little bit better person and uh, Helps for all the sins that I commit on weekends and stuff. Commit sins. I'm a sinner. I'm going to hell. <laughs> Before that, I hope to go to sea. Where goes on shine the brightest sky? Find me on this journey. Leave your troubles far behind. It's a new day. It was great to have you aboard on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, give us a like and subscribe. You'll really help us navigate better. Me and my boat Galapin promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. Watch it by my side. Yeah.